Hello everyone and welcome to Aviation A to Z. In our last episode, we have discussed about the ancient history of aviation. So today we will study the actual beginning of aviation, the golden years of aviation from the 18th century to the 20th century. So I will quickly summarize what we learned in our last episode that which was the first aircraft a kite then comes the bamboo copter later the sky lantern and next comes to inventor with attaching wings to their body later a hero leonardo da vinci and now we will study the history of aviation part 2 in 18th century and to be precise in 1709 bartholomew de castmau portuguese press presented a petition of his invention of an airship in hall of quesada india in lisbon he showed the principle of working of airship he is considered the pioneer of lighter than airship the 1783 was a watershed year for ballooning between june 4 and december 1 Five aviation firsts were achieved in France, between five new types of balloon flight were demonstrated within seven months. June, the Boncoulier brothers demonstrated their unmanned hot air balloon at Annonay, France, and their balloon is well known as Globe Aerostatique. Next, on 27th August, Jacques Charles and the Robert brothers launched the world's first unmanned hydrogen filled balloon. from the place Jean de Mars Paris on 19th October again Montgolfier brothers launched the first manned flight a tethered balloon with humans on board at Folly Teton in Paris the aviators were the scientist Jean Francois Pilatre de Rosier manufacturing manager Jean Baptiste Revelion and Giron de Villette covering the 9 km distance in just On 21 November once again Montgolfier brothers along with Marquis Francois T R Lights launched first free flight with human passengers and they drifted 8 km in a balloon powered by a wood fire on 1st December Jacques Charles and Nicolas Louis Robert launched their main hydrogen balloon from the Jardin des Tuileries in Paris and believe me there were 4 lakh like people to witness this historic event they have ascended 1800 feet and landed after 2 hours and 5 minutes covering almost 36 km of distance later robert decided to ascend alone at 9800 feet where he suffered an extreme pain in his ear why is the question which comes to your mind but the earth has no fear you are going to study in basic aerodynamics where all your doubt going to be clear but for now just remember we go higher pressure decreases and fluid or anything moves from high pressure to the low pressure so in our body there is a high pressure and outside a low pressure so blood will come out from ears a similar incident recently happened in the flight of jet airways which i am covering in my new channel click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to get the notification moving on next comes the airship It is also known as the dirigible balloons and today known as the dirigibles. The first powered controlled lighter than air flight took place in 1852 by Henri Kiefer in France with steam engine driven craft. Another advance was made in 1884 when first fully controllable free flight was made in a French army by Charles Sinard and Arthur Krebs. The first aircraft to make the routine flights were non-rigid airships called the blimps which are without an internal structure framework. The most successful firing private pilot was Brazilian Alberto Santos Dumont who effectively combined a balloon with an internal combustion engine. You will study internal combustion engine when you will study the piston engine which is a constant volume engine. Coming back he also won the Dutch Dila Merute Prize for 30 minutes flying. The rigid means require internal structure airship was designed by German Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who is the founder of Zeppelin Airship Company. His airship were used till today. Now comes the true aircraft which are heavier than air. An Italian inventor Tito Livio Buratini 
built a model aircraft with four fixed glider wings in 1647, which looks like a dragon volant, means flying dragon. His dragon volant considered to be the most sophisticated aircraft to be built before the 19th century. All of the above in our last video and today's was just a trailer of aviation. Here comes a picture. Yes, the father of aeronautics or you can say aerodyn aerodynamics. Yes, Sir George Kelly. His contribution in aviation is all round. For that, I have decided to make a separate video on his work. But in short, in 1848, he had progressed and constructed a glider in a form of a triplane and safe enough to carry a child. A triplane is a plane with three vertical stack wings. As sure. That's it for the today. Since if I will continue, it will be the overdose. So in our next episode, we are going to study about unsung aviators and our two hero brothers, your bright brothers, and after which how they revolutionized the modern aviation, what we today have. Till then, I hope you understand today's video and you can read about it in Wikipedia or Google if you want more details. And don't forget to subscribe and click on bell icon and share it with your enthusiastic friends. And finally, thanks for watching.